Now that we have discussed how to select an autoresponder, we can move on to setting up an opt-in form. An opt-in form is what you will use to capture your leads. You may have visited a site recently and noticed a pop-up form or even a form that has been strategically placed on the website encouraging visitors to join their mailing list. That form you encountered is the opt-in form. When a user fills out your form and decides to opt-in, they are giving you permission to send emails to them. Some autoresponders will provide what is known as a double opt-in, in which a user will receive a confirmation email to make sure that you have the correct information. If the service you provided gives you the option to use a double opt-in, it is good to use this as it will help you filter out unresponsive customers. By using the opt-in form, you are also complying with the Can Spam Act. There is some confusion about what the Can Spam Act means, but all that it does is set guidelines for marketers to send emails in a legitimate manner. The Can Spam Act requires marketers to obtain permission for sending emails from users. It also requires that you provide a way for users to opt in each email that you send. The process for opting out should be easy for the user. One click should allow the user to be removed from your list. Furthermore, you cannot charge a fee for removal from the list. And you cannot require them to sign in to remove themselves. That being said, remember that you must respond to opt-out requests immediately. There is a time limit imposed upon marketers for the response to removal requests. Remember the discussion about the difference between autoresponder services and owning your own autoresponder? If you are utilizing a service provider, the Can Spam Act requirements are automatically implemented into your email. You will not have to remember to place certain information in your emails, such as your email identifier and opt-out link, and you will not have to remember to remove a user if they opt out, because this will be done automatically by the service provider. A squeeze page is a page that is dedicated to the sole purpose of capturing leads. A squeeze page is the wisest option for capturing leads because it eliminates the possibility of a user wandering aimlessly on your site. While designing a squeeze page, remember to provide a layout that is similar to any ads that you may be running. If a person has arrived on your squeeze page from another link, they want to be certain that they are definitely signing up for exactly what they clicked on. If your layout is inconsistent with their expectation, you will certainly drive them away. The squeeze page should have a bulleted list of things that they are going to receive by opting in. This is your time to convince the visitor why they should give you their contact information, so you want to make it good. Here are some tips. 1. Make the headline powerful and personal. If you make the user feel like this is something that will be exclusive to them, they will be more inclined to opt in. 2. Offer something in return for their contact information. Many companies offer some sort of free, relevant content item that entices the user to join the list. 3. The shorter the form, the more likely a user is to opt in. If possible, obtaining a first name and an email is all you need to be effective. Do not make your form longer than necessary. 4. Tell them exactly what to do by providing a strong call-to-action button. 5. Ensure that the opt-in box is above the fold, so that users do not have to scroll or search in order to join your list. Keep it simple at all times. The value of a split test is also present in squeeze pages. It is vital that you create multiple squeeze pages and track their conversion rates in order to see which design works best with customers. You would be surprised to learn how small tweaks in design can impact the overall effectiveness of a squeeze page. If you are not familiar with coding, there are resources to help you overcome that obstacle. Autoresponders offer the ability to design squeeze pages, and in some cases, they also give you the ability to split test. Here are a couple of autoresponders that provide this service. 1. GetResponse 2. Aweber if you are more advanced, you may elect to build a squeeze page yourself without the assistance of an autoresponder. This is perfectly fine, but remember that the same guidelines for design apply. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.